Hey, welcome back, Life Groups. We're so glad you're gathering again this week, and we're in the second week of our Simon Says series where we're looking at scenes throughout Peter's life and what he got right, what he got wrong, and what we can learn from both. And this week, we're focusing on a story out of Matthew chapter 14. But to set the stage for the story, uh, it actually starts with Jesus learning that his cousin, John the Baptist, had been murdered. And so we kind of fast forward through the series a little bit, and when Jesus heard the news, he, he got on a boat and wanted to be and go to a remote area just to, to be by himself and to mourn. But the crowds heard where he was going, and they followed him. And so Jesus gets off this boat, and he saw this massive crowd, but instead of trying to get away from them or telling them to leave, Scripture says that he had compassion on them and healed their sick. And this is the same story where the disciples try to send the, the people away, but there's no food. And so a young man has five loaves and two fish, and Jesus feeds over 5,000 men and their wives and children. Uh, and so we see the miracle of feeding the 5,000. But all of this, to, we want to keep in mind that in the middle of Jesus hurting, in the middle of, of, of all of his mourning, he, he has compassion on those around him. Now, all of this backstory leads to our, to our scene today with Peter. And after feeding the 5,000, Jesus went away by himself to pray. He told the disciples to get in the boat and go across to the other side of the lake. But during the night, a storm came and the disciples were fighting heavy, heavy waves. And then suddenly the disciples look up and they see a figure walking on the water. And I think naturally, as we would, they they freak out thinking that it's a ghost. But then Jesus spoke to them and said, do not be afraid. Take courage. I am here. And Peter replies, says, Lord, if it's really you, tell me to come to you walking on the water. And obviously Peter is scared to death. The rest of the disciples are scared to death. But he doesn't ask Jesus to come to them. He says, if it's really you, tell me to walk to you. And Jesus simply replies by saying, come. So Peter musters his courage and steps over the side of the boat and begins to walk on the water. But as he's walking, he, he looks and he sees the wind and the waves and is overwhelmed by his surroundings. And when his focus shifts from, from Jesus to what's happening around him, he begins to sink and he cries out, Lord, save me. Peter cried out and Jesus immediately reaches down to grab him. So what went wrong? None of the other disciples were willing to do what Peter did. His, his faith was confident at the beginning, but things simply went wrong when Peter let fear win. He saw the waves, he saw the effects of the wind, and he took his eyes off of Jesus, and then he began to sink. And I think it's safe to say, I think if we're honest with ourselves and honest with each other, the same could be said for us. We simply lose focus. We see the storm around us. We see life happening around us. We get intimidated and we get scared. Or maybe even for some of us, just like Pastor Brant talked about this past weekend, there's sin that we haven't dealt with or that we refuse to deal with. And all of these are contributing factors to why we begin to sink. But the good news is, is that Jesus is right there, ready to reach out and catch us, just like he did with Peter. It all starts with Peter crying out and Jesus didn't hesitate. He immediately caught him and he will do the same for you and for me. Enjoy your discussion today.